of her comfort zone. And Tony Childs joins us now live from Hobart. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being with us. Now, you moved to Australia after falling in love. Tell us about this story about how you met your hubby. Well, I met Mick on a plane on a flight to, uh, to Melbourne to begin a tour, and the plane was struck by lightning. Oh. And because of the lightning strike on the tarmac, uh, his, ticket was, his ticket, his seat was changed. And so here comes this really uh, good-looking guy walking down, and he's going to sit next to me. <laughs> and, uh, and the rest is history, really. Oh, nice what one. a fabulous love story. Yeah, yeah love Mother nature ones. getting involved. Come on, Tony. Hey, early in your career, you lived in a recording studio, cleaning it and in return for free rent and recordings, I assume, as well. Do you think those struggles, Tony, made you chase your dreams harder? I think that was a really great opportunity for me. I moved to London and I wanted to become... I wanted to hone my craft and I knew the owner of the studio and I learned how to be a tape op and I got to sing on lots of really amazing uh, albums. I met uh, David Rhodes there who became the guitar player for Peter Gabriel and, and I got to sing and write with different musicians there and it was just really an incredible time and um, so it was about, you know, I think we need that those times and I had people believing in me. Um, I signed a publishing deal with Island Music Publishing and that paid for my stipend and really helped me to have the time to become a, a craft myself as a writer, as a storyteller. Right. Tony, you've had so much success uh, in this country with, with your singles and also uh, your records, but now you've got a couple of projects that are really putting you outside your comfort zone. Tell us about those. Well, I have a new album uh, called It's All a Beautiful Noise. It's a 3D mapping uh, show. I'm also an, uh, an installation artist. And as a part of this, I'm, I'm working out of a 126-year-old uh, paper mill that just makes, it's, it makes paper products now. And I'm making life-size animals out of recycled paper. It's also a part component of a part of a, of a show that lasts four months, believe it or not. And uh, it's a very unique uh, traveling contemporary art experience, but it's music driven. And in fact, I got to showcase some of the music last night at the concert here at uh, the uh, Royal Theater here in Hobart. And, um, and then I've got another installation project, which includes an underwater concert for whales and dolphins that is going into museums and uh, around the world. And I'm super excited about that. We did a test run last year and got to test out. Uh, yes, you're seeing some of it. I see here, which is really great. Um, yeah. Do and the dolphins have to pay for ticket price? To come and, see the show? and do you, do you it's see a really concert. high pitch? It's a free concert. Yeah, it's 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 also a way that we can generate support for um, for really saving the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. And there are some wonderful things that can be done to stop the sediment from going in and acidifying. Uh, the reef system and it's critical now that yeah. we do something and so this is my sort of call out because the reefs around the planet have the same problems and we can turn it yes. and so I wanted to do something that would contribute to that. Thank you so much, Tony. It's been so fabulous having you on the show. I feel like your songs were soundtracked of my um, teenage years. Now, for dates and details about Tony Child's upcoming Best Of shows, just head over to our website.